Can you hear that? I'm pretty sure you can. If not, let me just quick boost the audio right now. Of course it stops when I'm trying to show you what it is. They do that all the time throughout the summer and it's so annoying. So expect to hear that for the next three months. No, one month, maybe two at most. Anyways, as I was walking over to the ramp, I realized how horrible it looks. Yeah. I think we're gonna wanna fix that. So I had that hole right there. Turns out I don't need it because this whole ramp has to be moved. The sprinklers were in the way, so it's just not gonna work here, so I need to move it about four feet. Yeah. So right now, well, it's right there. I'm gonna move it to that stake, like that square from right there, there, and over there, and there's another stake back there. Here's what I'm gonna recommend if you, I can't speak. Here's what I'm going to recommend if you try and build a half pipe or anything large like this. Plan it out amazingly well you'll be able to build it way faster and everything will just go better just do it trust me you really because on top of that i don't like the angles of any of these like this is fine like that angle is completely fine but it doesn't go like gradually curve it starts at an, like a 15 degree angle I do not like that. The reason for it being not right in the angle of it is because I was trying to use the old quarter pipe from that I built a while ago, this one, but didn't work out well. Don't repurpose quarter pipes as half pipes. It doesn't work unless you build them completely on top of something. That probably made no sense, but I'm going with it. So since I don't like any of the angles of any of this, my plan is to take it all apart and then Save all the 2x4s, get rid of all the plywood. You would think that that would be really expensive, but where I live, that's not actually that bad. Anyways, so I'm gonna get rid of the sides, build new ones, but I also wanna build it four feet tall instead, cause, I don't know, four foot tall half pipe sounds like more fun. So this is also now going from a three foot half pipe to a four foot half pipe. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but I'm doing it. And since everything needs to be taken apart on this one right here and that over there, this is gonna take a while. Let's start a montage. Oh my gosh, I hate those bugs. Uh, okay, this was not planned. I just fell in a hole. Yeah. Okay then. Maybe let's start with filling those back in. So that hole, that hole has now been filled up. That has mostly been filled up. This hole is partially full again. I'm just gonna need to fill in this. Then finish filling in this hole. So, you know, if you build a ramp and it's on grass, just take the like 20 minutes to just spray everything around it with like ins the insecticide, the stuff that's supposed to prevent bugs from going there. But yeah, right there. Big spider. So just hose everything down. I'm gonna hose down the ramp. I hate spiders, and if I had the option to shoot them with a shotgun, I would. You would not believe how loud that was. Actually, no. This microphone picks up sound pretty well. Yeah, that was loud. Was it uncalled for? Not at all. Completely called for. Okay, now back to the montage. Yeah. In case you were wondering, this is actually just blue. It's not that the white balance is off. This wood is for some reason turned blue. Apparently don't stand there. This lighting is um, interesting. My phone is sitting on my camera with the flashlight on. Anyways, I got it taken apart completely. The pieces are just sitting right there and you can't really see them because it's so dark out. And all of the good wood is over here. Now let me go to the indoors where there is light. Okay, so I said I would do a, what are they called? 
Q&A, yeah. Oh yeah, I can finally record in my room again. Cause I've got a floor. It used to be so dirty that, or messy, there wouldn't, there isn't any dirt in my room. Anyways, on to the Q&A. So I have no plan which questions I'm gonna answer or anything, so. I'm kind of just figuring this out as I go. J just so you know. Okay, Dr. Darkseed, if I'm pronouncing your name right, which will pop up here for the rest of the video. Or no, would it be here? One of these two places, either right here or here. This is the camera, yeah, cameras. They at, I cannot speak today. They ask, besides the time lapse, how long does it take to build a ramp and how much does it cost? So, for where I live, to build a ramp, like the three, four quarter pipes of this one, if I can find a picture of it. Costed about 50 or $60, but I can build about the same size ramp. Well, no, I can build that same ramp, but eight feet wide instead for about $80. So <laughs> that's why I build so many ramps. It's so cheap where I live. Like other places, some of the people that watch my videos, like they've DM'd me on Instagram and told me how much it costs where they live. It costs like hundreds of dollars in other places. But I'm so close to all of the um, lumber mills, I guess that would be, that it's actually really cheap, like amazingly cheap. All wood where I live is really cheap. Oh, and time-wise, the three foot quarter pipe again, if I can find a picture of this one, that took about a weekend to build, but that's because I had no clue what I was doing. If you know what you're doing, you've got a plan. You can get it done in like three hours. Next question. Okay, this person, by the way, I'm not saying names anymore because I'm gonna mis I'm gonna mispronounce them and yeah. So I might not even I might as well not even try. This person asked, Did your parents teach you the skills that I know or how did I learn them? So my mom and grandpa taught me most of my woodworking knowledge. Except for I mean I've learned stuff from YouTube because YouTube is a great learning source. Just use YouTube to learn anything and you'll be able to learn it probably. And then for welding, my dad taught me some, but I've learned a lot from this YouTuber. If you need to learn how to weld, just look up them. This, this Chucky 2009, yeah, look him up. He is pretty great at welding and has a lot of good videos on how to weld. Okay, how did I get into building things like ramps and stuff? I built ramps because I wanted to get better at scootering and the closest skate park from here is like five miles away. So there's no chance that I can go there unless somebody can drive me there. So I decided I'll just build a ramp because again, they're really cheap where I live and I know how to build it and I have all the tools too. So it made sense in my scenario to build a ramp. How did I get into it? Um, I learned how to weld because welding is really useful and I've used it for a lot of things. Like I'm gonna use it to build a desk that's gonna go right here that, and over here. So I just learned to weld because it's useful. And I was gonna do something with welding. Oh yeah, I needed to make a table, like a work table. That's how I learned how to weld. Woodworking, I was just like, actually no. It's kind of funny. I've done random stuff with wood since I've been like five years old. Like I used to try and build little things with like a little coping saw. If you have ever worked with wood, you know what I'm talking about, what a coping saw is. Yeah, so I've basically just wanted to do woodworking forever, I guess. Okay, this person asked, do I even lift, bro? Yes, I lift my phone from my pocket to my face every single day, probably a few hundred times a day. Okay. Again, whoever person that pops up right here asked, if you could get a motorbike or car, what would it be? I'll answer what I would get for a car and a motorcycle because they're both awesome. Car, depending on the amount of money I have, if I only have like five or 10,000, probably a 240, then if I have more money, BRZ or an FRS, then even more money, GTR. This person asked, did I quit skateboarding? No, but I don't do it very often. I only skateboard not very often. Although I did make a tramp board recently. Those are fun. If you have an extra skateboard, do that. It's fun. Okay, next one. This person, again, I'm just not gonna pronounce your names, okay? Cause yeah, I can probably pronounce most of them, but a few of them I'm gonna get wrong. And it's annoying when people get your name wrong. Okay, how come I haven't been posting? Well, the reason why is because, well, a lot of things have not been my favorite to post. Like, let me, it's been raining quite a bit. Another thing that makes posting really hard is when your computer tells you you're missing an operating system. Yeah, my computer's broken. It happens a lot, I don't know why. <laughs> Computers just hate me. And also I've been working on some other stuff that you'll see soon, it's awesome. And the same person from the beginning asked, what inspired you to start riding scooters? So, you all know how YouTube works. You find somebody, then 
they make a video of somebody else and then they find that's the other person. It just goes on forever and you find like 72 people through one person, if that made any sense. I forget how it went. Oh yeah. I found What's Inside's channel once, then What's Inside made a video with Sean Durris, then Sean Durris made a video with Tanner Fox, and then I was like, hey, that looks cool and more fun than skateboarding. I'm gonna try that. And that's how that happened. And then this person asked, are you old enough to drive and why did you choose to do YouTube? No, I'm not old enough to drive. If I could, I would probably be making way more videos because I could do more stuff, but I can't because I can't drive. I mean, I can do the stuff, it's just I need somebody to drive me there. Why did I choose to do YouTube? I don't know, I just thought it'd be cool. It's cool. It's actually really awesome. I've actually wanted to do YouTube for over a year, but, well, no, it would be a year for I need to raise this chair probably. I don't know, I'm actually at the right height. It would be about two years from now I want to start, I wanted to do YouTube, but I thought, why don't I spend the next year learning how to do YouTube, then do it. Don't do that. Just go out, learn how to make a good video, get a story, and then make YouTube videos. There's no magical tricks. Like I was looking through stuff earlier today cleaning to get a floor back, and I found some papers that were like stuff about YouTube before. They don't like, they were about tricks to starting a YouTube channel or whatever. None of that works or matters. Just make great videos, post them, and wait forever. And keep on making more great videos. That is literally, that is literally all you need to do is just make great videos and post a lot of them. And then, of course, improve on what you did wrong. That went completely off topic, but I don't really care because it was, yeah. And now for the last one. This person, can I pronounce your name? Let me check. I'm gonna pronounce it wrong, but I don't care. Kent Lempkin, I think that's how you pronounce it. They asked, if there was a purple waffle, how many numbers does it take to feed the alphabet soup if the waffle isn't purple? Seven. There you go. That is the answer in case you ever wondered how many purple, yeah. Okay, would you like to see, cause I think you would be hilarious, a reading mean comments video. There are so many to choose. And there's way more that you don't know of because they're blocked because YouTube is actually has a decent filter on it to filter out comments. Would you want to see that? There's gonna be a poll that pops up. How does the, it would be right here, I think. Yes or no, or ducks. That's gonna be a new thing. Ducks is now an option in these polls. Why? I don't know. Oh yeah. And if this video takes a while to post, like over a week from the last video, I'm gonna blame it on my supposedly missing operating system. It's not missing, you just suck at finding stuff, computer. The real problem with my computer is just, I have a RAID set up to save files, and you, you know, you probably don't give a crap, you just want this video up. Okay, yeah. Anyways, this is now the end of the video. Thank you for watching, like it if you liked it, subscribe if you liked it. Click over here for new videos, and over here to subscribe in another new video. Or not new, but a video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this audio wasn't broken because I'm indoors and it sounds a lot different. Yeah, thank you for watching. See ya.